speed on here okay so um thought i'd make a little phone video of uh, i've been talking about on my desktop videos here uh, i went ahead and booted up on my easy to boot system on my sd card and i'm going to boot into bit defender there and it should just go ahead and go on by that and select the defaults <coughs> and the bit defender now English is what I want that's what it's asking you what language you want kind of a cool looking uh, background there this flash screen uh, looks like a robot snake with a dog head to me and uh, it doesn't take too long to boot up but uh, what I'm going to do I'm not going to do a virus scan bit defenders by uh, rescued virus scanning uh, ISO you can download from the Wit Defender web virus uh, software website. I did use it already on here. The system was infected. The 32-bit Windows 7 was infected. I've <laughs> scanned it at least 10 times with different scanners, and I think I, I decided I had it clean enough, but I still didn't. I wanted 64-bit on there anyway, so <coughs> I had another hard drive, a little 30-gig hard drive. I uh, installed 64-bit Windows 7 on there, and... Uh, Actually, with this system, it's a core. It's a dual core uh, AMD with only two gig of RAM. So it's really the uh, two gig of RAM is the minimum RAM for 64-bit Windows 7. So it doesn't run real fast, but it's okay. And I'm not going to use it all the time. I don't use it as like a as a production system, as they say. I uh, I'm just going to use it to back up my phone files and let it, let it upload uh, my videos to Google Photos. So I'm not going to do the bit defender scan, so I'm just going to close it to get it out of the way. I don't want, the reason I'm using it, it has Team Viewer. Well, it actually, it'll download it for you. You click on the icon there, and uh, it'll download it and start it up pretty quick. And it's a little, uh, I never did figure out what, ver what if it's the Bane or F Fire F uh, Fedora or what it is. Uh, but it is a, it has XFCE desktop, uh, so... Uh, I figured that out by looking around before, uh, so I know it's a Linux distro. Some of these run on a Windows PE uh, operating system, Windows pre-installation, which I guess would be, well, I don't know what it would be. If it's a fairly new one, you used to be the, you know, when I used Windows PE, it was Windows XP. That's when I did learned about it. Okay, except the Team Viewer license, uh, but, you know, of course, there's been 7, 8, and, uh, well, Vista, 7, 8, and 10, so... Okay, the last time it was, I had it written down, where did I write it down? Over there. The number was, well, that might be the same, but the password's different. So yeah, I know whether you're on a live system like this or a, um, um, you know, installed, it's going to change, automatically change the little password. Let's see, 319, yeah, that's the same number, 319. <coughs> I can't see that at all, can you? 319 is the same. But the little password auto generates. So that's 4752. Of course, this will be a one time thing. So I'll have to write that down though for myself here. Um, so, what I'm going to do is go get on my. Um, I got to write it down. I, I can't write it down and hold this phone. So, uh, yeah, I'll write that down, and then I'll go get on my uh, my desktop, make a desktop video. So I don't need to do any more here. I just wanted to show how you did that in case anybody was interested. It's pretty easy, uh, really. So, uh, and it could be quite useful for a lot of different things. So, uh, uh, this is Don, and I'll see you in my desktop video. Bye.